Hello there, this is Dave Allen for the Amazing iPad Podcast and today we're going to have a look at a few things to do with notes and using the keypad. So let's see what we can do with it. First of all, something you might want to do is to shout. So why don't we double click on this icon here and we can have all capital letters now. So there you go, that's how you get your all caps and you can just tap on that again and it will turn it off. Wasn't that easy? So let's go to autocorrect. And to do this, you need to go to the keyboard settings. So let's go to our settings over here. So with this settings here, you can turn on or off auto capitalization and auto correction. And even you can turn on or off the check spelling and your enabling of caps lock. So, so that is very useful to know. So that thing there where you uh, tap the space bar twice gives you a full stop so there you go that's uh, something else that you can do with the keyboard and where you can do some changes in the settings to make it more sort of customized to yourself while we're in here why don't we have a look at the settings we can use for the notes application and uh, generally it comes with this marker felt so let's go back into notes and you can see there the application is now using the marker felt font which looks a bit iffy and i don't like it which is probably why i changed it in the first place to be in Helvetica but I could have it noteworthy if I want to as well let's have a look at what noteworthy looks like no I think it's better in Helvetica okay so there you go we've got our notebook app and uh, to be quite honest you, if you're using this you're probably one of the three or five people that are using it so it's there if you want to take some notes you might have a look at uh, other note-taking applications the ones that I like are nebulous notes and I've got notability that's very good for doing audio as well. Well, there are other ones such as Textastic, which has a, an innovative way of uh, giving you extra keys to save yourself some time when you're doing some typing in. And let's just go back to our note-taking app again. And don't forget, of course, that when you're using your note-taking app, uh, what you can do is, instead of typing, you can do dictation. Those little three dots there will blow away until it's done it. It has to send it off to the internet and bring it back again. And what do you know, it didn't work. Shall we try again? Well, it didn't even work without even trying there, did it? Well, I like the sound that it makes. It's quite musical, but it's not working. Well, take my word for it that the dictation does work on this and there's obviously something wrong with the server there. So so what else can you do with your keyboard? Well, you might want to type in some strange foreign words. So, for instance, if you want to put in the actual uh, proper word for Spain in uh, Spanish, as it were, then you're going to need the Enya sound or the Enya letter. So you'll need to do that. Or if you're typing in a German word and you want to have a, an O or a U with an umlaut, you'll need to go to there. So there's our, there's our U and we can have the umlaut on top of it or we can have one of these other accents. Some of these other accents, the ones that are using French or Catalan or some of those other strange languages. If I tap on the euro symbol, I can then choose between the pound, the symbol for the yen or the dollar symbol. That's very useful, isn't it? So this is Dave Allen for Amazing iPad, showing you a few different things that you can do with your keyboard. Don't forget to subscribe in YouTube to make sure that you don't miss these videos giving you some more information about how to get the best out of your iPad and also I do videos for the Mac 20 questions website too. So this is Dave Allen. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon.